So today I am going to make a plum flapjack crumble because it is Mother's Day and I am a great daughter. I've gone and left the recipe at university but I have made it before and it's pretty fucking basic so we're gonna attempt to make a plum crumble without actually knowing how to make it. I should also mention that at the same time I'm gonna be cooking a roast dinner. <sighs> These plums are rock solid. I have the biggest knife I could have possibly selected for this task and I'm not sure if that's appropriate. So as you may or may not know, I am not exactly known for my culinary skills and ability. In fact, it's verging on embarrassing. Shit. There was the tray baked cake where I put in a heaped tablespoon full of baking soda and then proceeded to give it to all the year sevens as a nice gift from the year nine girls. I'm kind of one of those people that likes to just throw things together and hope for the best. There was another time where I thought it was a good idea to make vodka pasta. I did follow a recipe, but it was absolutely gross and looked and tasted like vomit. There was also that one time where I gave my sister food poisoning. I like to think she had a stomach bug. No, these are not right. Fuck no. Do crumble pots exist? Oh, uh, Lucy, embracing all the philosophical questions on a Sunday afternoon. I hope you've all had a very pleasant Mother's Day. I hope you all have mothers that you appreciate. I hope you all have mothers. Great way to appeal to your audience, Lucy. What if someone doesn't have a mother? Hmm? What if they're brought up by a single father? What have you done then? At some point I have to put the chicken in as well. Can chicken and crumble cook at the same time in the same oven? That's something we're gonna find out. Do I want any more of this? Mm-hmm. No, no, I didn't want any more. I like to think that if I film enough content, that maybe three minutes of it will be good. Something that I think comes from growing up in a middle class household is not being able to tolerate any vanilla essence that isn't actual vanilla. This is what I'm doing. Is this right? Yeah, you bubbling, huh? You bubbling. Hi, I'm Lucy, famous of Yams Lucy's YouTube channel, and welcome to my crib. I know what I need to do. Chicken! <laughs> you can feel the enthusiasm. My favourite of the shit ingredients. I think I'm just going to squirt it into... <laughs> There's something I should definitely be doing right now that I'm not doing, I'm not sure what it is. What am I meant to be doing? Checking my phone to check I'm not meant to be doing something. There we go. I can't wait to edit this video because it's just gonna be like half an hour of me stirring and... Isn't there a phrase about spilled sugar? There's no use crying over spilled... No, that's milk. Am I allowed to eat uncooked oats or like pot like you do if you eat corn? Right, so I guess that I get back to you in about like two and a bit hours? I'm not really sure how I feel about it in that it looks a little bit charred. Okay, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Are you ready? Ha! Huh? No, that's too hot to put in my mouth. <laughs> Could be a lot worse. It's definitely edible. I would give that 7.5 to an 8 out of 10, actually. Really? Yeah, I quite like it. Thank you very much, Rowan Evenden. Thanks for watching my video. If you want, you can like it and comment on it and tell me what I should bake next. That's preferably very easy and not gonna cause any like hazards. Bye.